Stephanie Belflant joins us now to talk about skin damage, uh, sun damage skin that is, and age spots. And if you have questions, you can send them to the doctors at WLVT.com. Thank you, Maggie. Joining us now, Dr. Deb Mandy Sundaram from the Face and Body Center. Dr. Manny, thank you for joining us. Thank you for letting me be on your show again, and Happy New Year to all three of you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Now, we're talking about removing age spots and stuff like that with a fairly new contraption, right? It is. It's called the Cyton Laser. Uh, it's an uh, ND YAG laser, and it, it is like five lasers in one. It's known to work on acne scars. It's known to work on uh, spider veins. It's known to work on uh, age spots, wrinkle reduction, and also has a special feature called skin tight, where it tightens the skin using the infrared energy. Wow. Well, about the acne, you know, because people, some people have really bad acne scars. I mean, how, how much can you clear up acne scars? I can show you an illustrative example. Uh, it also has a special feature called pro-fractional therapy, which is called PFT. So you use columns of laser and you leave normal tissue around it. So it helps, the normal tissue helps it heal better. It takes four to six months to see the complete results, but it works very well with the combination of pro-fractional laser and the uh, the surfacing laser. Well, show us some now, pictures yes, of that. Yes, definitely. And I was going to ask. I know a lot of uh, African Americans tend to get these uh, dark splotches on their skin. Will it work for that as well? That is the good feature about this, Maggie. Is it's good for all skin, six skin types, from the uh, auburn uh, class one to the dark African American type six. So that is the best feature. Is it can be used for all six types of skin and without any downtime. Excellent. Well, show us the three people. It looks like you had a few maybe with some wrinkles and then one at the bottom had some acne scars. I can show you these three spots where the first picture you can see the sun damaged skin with some age spots. She has moderate amount of wrinkles. The second one has wrinkles in, in the upper lip. And the third is a younger gentleman who has significant amount of acne scars to his face. Uh, this patient had one treatment. This patient had one treatment. This patient had two treatments. He had a combination of what I was talking about, the PFT, pro-fractional tr treatment, plus the resurfacing. And you can see the significant improvement in uh, compared to this and this. Again, you can see the disappearance of the brown spots okay. and also significant improvement in the wrinkles on both these patients. When you're talking about a treatment, how long does a treatment last? If you're l just looking for age spots and not looking for the whole face, you're looking for 10 to 15 minutes. If you're looking for the whole face, it usually is from 30 to 45 minutes. Wow. And that's a big change. Well, it is a big, big change. The acne is as well as the wrinkle and the, and the other. Um, I don't, what makes this different from your average lasers? Is it just because it's more versatile? Or we used to have the CO2 laser in the early 90s. The, the what came in disfavor with the CO2 laser was people had prolonged redness or erythema and also they had a lot of scars that came from the laser. This is more precise and it also has a cooling element whereby you control the amount of thermal damage. So you don't have the thermal damage you had with the CO2 laser. So it's actually not burning you, so, so to it speak. It is controlled burning. So if okay. you also need to burn more, which is called coagulation, you can also do that, but it's a controlled burning where it, you, you control how much depth you go on the burning. Okay. Now, you, if these people look 20 years younger, at least, in going through that, do you have to have more than one treatment to get this kind of effect? It depends on how well they tolerate the treatment. People, if they are willing to tolerate with some Demerol and some Valium and also some topical lidocaine, one treatment should be sufficient. If they feel that they're not able to tolerate it, they may need more than one treatment. But both the, these patients that I had shown have had only one treatment before. Okay, we've That's got a amazing. question from a viewer, uh, totally different. It says, if a woman gets a breast lift and she decides to have another baby, will her breast ever sag again? And can she breastfeed? She is going to have some amount of sagging after the uh, pregnancy and after the childbirth. Our questions with the breastfeeding, it depends on what kind of technique was used for a breast lift. Because in certain techniques, you still leave behind the ducts, so you'll still be able to breastfeed. 
But I tell my patients that uh, you would be able to breastfeed, but you'll also have to supplement because you're not going to get enough breast milk to feed the baby. Now, I would think that any time you disturb that, that area, even if you don't remove the ducts, that you're going to create a problem. That is correct, because you, you are cutting through the ducts. Although you try to preserve them, you're still going to have some disruption of the ducts. Okay. Amazing. Very good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Tell us where we can yeah. find you again. <laughs> you can go to faceandbodycenter.com, or you can contact us at 601-939-9999. Interesting stuff. Thank you so much, Dr. Manny, as always. Thank you, ladies. And for more health news, you can log on to our website. Just go to WLDT.com and click down there, third bar, Medical Matters.